The Seymour touch panels include a series of built-in system setup screens that allow you to view detailed information about the panel, adjust certain features, configure communications, test various functions of the touch panel, backup and restore firmware, a recipe, log or project memory, clear memory, and reset all values and conditions back to the original factory defaults. Information, setting, test menu, and memory comprise of the four main menu setup screens. The information tabs display details about the touch panel model, the panel's name, version information for the hardware, bootloader and firmware, clock source and beeper status. Other tabs display details on the panel's internal memory and the status of the external memory devices. Communication port details and an error log are available to help troubleshoot the system. In the setting, this is the area for making adjustments to the internal clock, adjusting the display's brightness, setting the IP address, adjusting or calibrating the touch panel, enabling or disabling the internal beep, and enabling or disabling a mouse pointer. The test menu. This menu will allow you to test the touch panel, display, user LED, communication ports, and the internal beeper or the audio line output, if a speaker with an amplifier is connected. A wave sound file is provided for the audio line output test. The memory menu allows you to either back up or restore your project, log data, recipe data, and or system memory. Selections can be made to back up to an optional CD card or USB pen drive memory. The menu selections are also allow you to clear the memory and there's also default for resetting all touch panel screens back to the original defaults. We will be reviewing these system screens of the Seymour HMI panel. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Accessing the Seymour System Setup Screens Press the upper left corner of the panel display area for 3 seconds. The main menu will, will be displayed. If a program is loaded into the Seymour HMI, a warning message will appear. It will tell you that, you that activating system screens will stop the panel mode from running. You have a choice to continue. Select OK to continue. The System Setup menu screen will now appear. The Seymour System Setup screen flowchart. This is a great overview of the set Setup screen menu and where everything is located. Information Seymour System Setup screens. General tab. This tab will show you the panel type, name, version of the hardware and firmware, clock selection and whether the beep is enabled. Memory tab. This will show you the status of each memory, SD RAM, MRAM and built-in flash. The resource monitor will help troubleshoot and show a CPU and internal memory usage. Ethernet tab. This will show you the Ethernet settings it includes the MAC address, IP address, type, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server. Error tab. Error messages with the time and date stamp will be indicated on the screen. License tab. The operating system information can be accessed from the software by selecting the help. Setting menu for the Seymour setup screens. Adjust clock. This segment will help you adjust the real time clock on our CM5 HMI screen. Adjust panel. We can start the calibration procedure of the HMI panel. This will automatically start when we have a new panel or if we restore the panel from its factory default. Network settings. IP address settings will allow us to set up the Ethernet IP settings. When this system setup screen is first selected, DHCP is enabled as a default. All the other selections on this screen are dimmed. When the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol or DHCP is selected and unavailable. The Use Following IP Address setting is selected when the radio button is pressed. You can change this IP address as you wish. Adjust Display. We can adjust the brightness of the Seymour CM5 display. Color examples indicate how bright or dim your display will be. Options. These options allow you to select a light or dark theme for the system screens. You can also enable or disable the beep and turn the show mouse cursor on or off.
Memory menu, backup, your project firmware, operating system, log, and recipe files can be backed up and restored from an SD memory card, SD card slot one or SD slot two or a USB memory device. Restore, you can restore a project previously backed up on an SD card or USB pen drive memory device to the same panel. You can also copy a project from one panel to another using memory device to transfer the data files physically. Clear memory. This function clears individually selected data files or all data files within the program's built-in memory and any installed memory devices such as a USB pen drive or an SD card. Reset to factory default. A message box will appear after pressing the reset to factory default button from the memory menu. Resetting the factory defaults produces the following actions. The touchscreen calibration is reset to factory defaults. The project file is cleared. The log, recipe, and WAVE files are cleared. The IP address is set to DHCP. The time zone is set to UTC-5. Orientation is set to 0 degrees. And brightness is set to 16. After pressing OK, the touch panel will reboot and start the touchscreen calibration procedure. Test menu. The test menu will allow you to test the operation of the touchscreen, the LCD communication ports, the internal beeper, and the audio line through a user supplied amplified speaker output. Test touch panel. If an area of the touchscreen is suspected to be inoperable, touch it while the test, touch test panel screen is visible. The screen pixel should turn black in that area. If they do not, this touchscreen is defective or needs to be calibrated. Test beep or sound. This system setup screen allows you to test whether the internal beeper is enabled or disabled. The speaker test function requires that the speakers with an amplifier, it can be stereo, be connected into the audio line output stereo jack on the rear of the touch panel. Test communication port. You can test the serial and ethernet ports for communications. Some of these options require wiring to perform the loopback tests. Test display. Two different test patterns may be run on the display to allow you to check for display screen defects. Test user LED. Under the green power light, the user LED can be tested for operation. The setup screens are an important part of the CM5 HMI system. Understanding what they are and how to access them will help you program and troubleshoot your hardware. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.